Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Yes, I know this is my second video this week, but I just couldn't resist. I saw this movie yesterday and I just had to make a video about it, so here we go. Crazy Rich Asians is a movie about a young woman named Rachel Shu. She is a college professor in New York and she has a boyfriend named Nick Young. So Nick invites her to his best friend's wedding in Singapore, which is where all of his family lives. When they get to Singapore, Rachel learns that her boyfriend's family is actually extremely rich. Like, they're pretty much royalty there. So Rachel starts feeling the pressure of what it's like to be part of this crazy rich family, no pun intended, especially when her boyfriend's mom aka the most important person in the family disapproves of, of her. So that is basically the plot of the movie. I don't want to give any spoilers in this review, so if you haven't watched this movie, it's okay, I'm not gonna spoil it. As you guys know, this movie has an all-Asian cast, which is awesome. Something that I also really enjoyed about this movie is the music. Um, I'm not really 100% sure if all of the music was uh, performed by Asian musicians or, and singers, but I can't remember a single song in English. Maybe there was, I just can't remember right now, but I know that the majority of them were not in English, which I really, really liked. There's actually a cover of Coldplay's song Yellow by the end of the movie, which I thought was a really, really nice touch. Um, today I read that the director purposely chose that song and he actually wrote a letter to Coldplay requesting for him to use that song uh, because it has a very special meaning to him, especially with the word yellow. And yeah, I thought that was a really, really nice song for the scene that it was in, which I'm not gonna tell you because it's um, at the end of the movie. But yeah, I really enjoyed the music in the movie as well. Going back to the cast, I thought everyone was exceptional, but the one person who stole the show for me in this movie was Aquafina. She was hilarious and every single scene that she was in, I was having so much fun, I was laughing so hard. She definitely did a great job with her character. She was like the funny best friend. Not in like a stereotypical way, like she just she just told the show, like I said. And I really, really enjoyed her performance in this movie. I thought Rachel was very likable and a great main character, but another person that I really liked in this movie was Astrid, the character of Astrid, who is Nick's cousin. Even if she came from wealth and literally buys million dollar earrings, she was still very sympathetic and someone that you could relate to, even though it's a pretty hard thing to do when you know that they're pretty much swimming in gold. This movie is a rom-com. It has a lot of the typical rom-com elements and a lot of the typical rom-com cheesiness. It's obviously not the greatest romantic comedy in the world, but I can't tell you that I didn't enjoy it. It was honestly a very, very fun movie, and at least to me, it wasn't really that predictable. A lot of the times I was pretty surprised with how some of the events unfolded, and I thought that was really nice, especially because since you know it's a romantic comedy and it follows that formula, it can still surprise you. I really want to highlight the production design in this movie. Uh, the sets were incredible. Like I said, this family is not only rich, but they're the richest. They have like a hundred maids and a hundred butlers, and their house is the size of Disneyland. The one set that I really want to talk about is the wedding. It was the most beautiful wedding <laughs> that I've ever seen. Um, my roommate that watched the movie with me, she doesn't want to get married ever, but after this movie, now she wants that exact same wedding, so. Serious props to the art department because everything about this movie looked gorgeous. I think Crazy Rich Asians deserves all the recognition that it's getting. It really shows that the demand for movies where there is a diverse cast is there and it definitely opens the door for more movies like this in mainstream Hollywood. I'm very excited to see where things go from here. If you've watched the movie, let me know your thoughts about it and if not, go watch it and then come and tell me your thoughts about the movie. I really want to know. Uh, what you guys thought about it and as always thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one Bye.